Hello learners, myself Simran from Team Cloudy ML and I welcome you back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to start with a new aptitude training session, which is the session number 12. And in this video, we're going to cover the questions asked by the company Accenture in their aptitude round. So let's begin. As always, we are going to begin with the first question, which is of quantitative aptitude, and it is covered under the topic of averages. Okay, so first let's read out the question. The question is, in the first 10 overs of a cricket game, the run rate was only 3.2. What should be the run rate in the remaining 40 overs to reach the target of 282 runs? Okay, so what we have been given, uh, you must have been understood that it is a 50 overs match. Why? Because in the first 10 overs, the run rate is given 3.2 and the remaining overs are given as 40 overs. So it is a total of 50 overs match. And what you need to calculate the run rate in the remaining 40 overs to reach the target of 282 runs. So let's see how to solve this. <coughs> if you know that, the total runs, okay, the total runs that will be scored, okay, or uh, normally, generally, the total runs scored are overs into the run rate. Let's denote it by RR, okay, this is the run rate. So, this will be the, it is a general concept, okay, uh, that total runs will be the overs into run rate. Run rate means uh, runs per over. Average runs per over that is called as run rate, correct? So, uh, for the first 10 overs, so runs in the first 10 overs will be overs. Overs are obviously 10, and the run rate is given as uh, 3.2. 3.2, which means the runs scored in the first 10 overs are 32 runs. Correct. Now, for the remaining 40 overs, the run scored will be 40 into whatever run rate it is. Okay, that we need to find out. So, let's consider it as RR. So, now the total runs that are scored will be runs in the first 10 overs and the runs in the next 40 overs. And the total runs are given, right? 282 runs is the target. So, the total total is 282. So simply substitute both the values. Runs in the first 10 overs are 32 plus 40 into RR which is 282. So solve this. So 40 into RR will remain and subtract 282 minus 3, uh, 32. So you will be getting 250. Now RR will remain and you can divide 250 upon 40. So the answer that you will get is, let's solve. So 0, 0 will get cancelled. So 4, 6 are 24. 2 are 8. And 5 are. So 6.25 will be the answer. So let's see. Whether it is present in the options, yes, the option C, 6.25 will be the answer. So, for reaching the target of 282 runs, the team must score the runs at a run rate of 6.25 for the remaining 40 overs. Okay, so uh, let's move ahead with the next question. This is of logical reasoning type. So, here are some words that are translated from an artificial language. In this language, Haplish means cloudburst, srenchosh means pinball, and resposrench means nine pin. So, according to this language, which word could mean cloud nine? And these are the given options that you need to find out that which word will mean cloud nine. So, what we will do is we will first decode this language and check, okay? So, what we need to find out, just a second. 
we have to find out the word that will be uh, similar to cloud nine in the given artificial language. Okay, so from these options, first check then it that in which word the word cloud is present. So if you see cloud is present in this first sentence, the haplish, correct? So haplish is present. So first let's write down cloud is present in the word haplish. Similarly, check out that in which word nine is present. So you see in this resbo range means nine pin. Nine is present in resbo range. Now, let, uh, you need to understand from the, the options. Here it is nine pin and cloud burst. Correct. So from the options, if you see that uh, the option D. Apple Resbo should be the answer for this question. Why? Because here, from this analogy, you can see that cloud will mean Apple and nine will mean Resbo. So the answer will be Apple Resbo, which is the option D. See, because less French, less French cannot be because less will mean burst and French will mean pin. Och help will not be because och will mean ball and apple will be cloud, but we need to find out cloud nine. So your cloud will be apple and nine will be respo. So the answer will be the option D, apple respo. Okay, let's move ahead with the uh, verbal reasoning question, the third question. So this is the question which of the phrases A, B, C, D given below each sentence? should uh, replace the word phrase printed in the bold in the sentence to make it grammatically correct. Okay, so here is the sentence. Since the officer was overburdened with work, her colleague decided to give her hand. In this, the... This gave her hand is the bold part. Just a second. So you need to find out that which part or which among the given sentences can be can be used to replace this phrase which is gave her hand. So suppose giving hands, what does the sentence actually mean? Let's first understand that. Since the officer was overburdened with work, her colleague decided to give her hand. The officer is overburdened with work, correct? So what will the officer need? A help, correct? So in this meaning, gave her hand means giving a helping hand, correct? So what will be the option? Giving hands will not be the option to giving hands, to give her her hand, to giving her handful or no correction required. So here the answer will be give her her hand, give, give her a hand. The phrase give her a hand also means the same, which is uh, giving a helping hand. So the option B, B will be the correct answer. Give her a hand. This is the fourth question of logical reasoning type. You've been given a sequence and the second blank is le left empty. You, you need to first decode the sequence and then find out the correct answer from the four options. So comment down the solution in the comment box. We will definitely let you know if your answer was right or wrong. And if you have any doubts regarding the previous questions, you can also ask that doubts. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. Do share it with your friends and also subscribe to our channel.